Great, so why don't you just uh, tell, us, uh, tell us your name? Michael Iliadis. Excellent. Well, what are you going to do for us today? You can put that away. <clears throat> okay, great. <laughs> what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to do a piece uh, from Spike Heels, Teresa Rubik's Spike Heels. Great. Character of Andrew. And then I'm going to do a Canadian classic, The Drawer Boy, uh, Miles Potter. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, whenever you're ready. So you feel free to move around a little bit, not too far, but uh, that's okay. okay. Yeah, take a moment, have, have, have some fun out there. Absolutely. Well, you better want to hear about it because I'm not talking about my stupid book. I'm talking about your life, all right? Test historical repetition. One man treats you bad so you fall into bed with another. I mean, fuck. The system eats up people like you. You end up in dead-end jobs, crummy apartments, bad neighborhoods, too many drugs, too much alcohol, and meaningless relationships. I just don't want to see you become another statistic, all right? Because relationships mean something. People mean. You don't just fuck every guy you're attracted to. That's not the way it works. And aside from the crucial fact that I'm not about to betray my girlfriend, whom I love, I'm not going to betray you. You want to know what this is? I'm not your friend, okay? I am your teacher. And you don't sleep with your teacher. It screws up everything. You don't do it. We shouldn't have done it. So, I did the monologue for the others in the show. Wait, you know the one. that cows are petrified all the time. They wanted to do the stereotypical cow. You know, placid, dumb, cut chewing. The bourgeois theatrical cow. The same cow we have seen on stage for years and years. And which of course, I know now is a lie. I said, if you want to do a scene about a cow that's a lie, well, we could have seen Toronto and made it up out of our heads. I said, I wasn't going to insult Daisy by portraying her without exploring her pain, her anxiety, her reality. The director said, okay, fair enough, and then he cut the scene. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. 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 Thanks.